Ooh, that was good, man. That hit the fucking spot, dude. They're back. Best ones ever. Sunbell. If you want good blackberries, get Sunbell. Telling you. Word to the wise. Sunbell. Sipping on a sipping on a protein shake. Never saw this brand, right? Nope. What's up, Rocco? Blackberry erotica. Got that. What's up, Cassie? <clears throat> I went to Aldi's for uh, shopping. Just got back, I don't know, about an hour ago. Not even 45 minutes. And they have all the same. 30 milligram, 30 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, 24 vitamins. The only difference is one vitamin. That's it. And they were 650. Straight up. No coupons or anything. Not bad. It does the same friggin' thing as the other ones. Why not, right? <clears throat> I just had a nice friggin'... Aldi's has cold cuts, like deli meat already sliced up. Now, I told you, Rocco, not to eat, eat that shit, but for me, I need I, I need some fatty food. So they have... What's up, D-Man? Thanks, bro. You don't have to end your live, dude. Um, They have this... Uh, sliced cold cut meat. Hi, Mary. What's up, sweetheart? Um, it's roast beef, but it's just real thin and like a little round. I don't even know where they get it. I don't know. And it's individually packed in two different packs and they roll it into like a roll. If you ever got it from Aldi's, I'm telling you, man, try it. It's pretty damn good. I just had a sandwich and I got the, um, the sliced bread, you know, white bread, but the Italian one says Italian on it. No seeds though. Bro, that bread was so fresh and soft. I was just telling D, man, I was in his life. Before I went live, and uh, delicious, man, absolutely delicious. I didn't. I'm still live till keep you running, listening. Uh, ah, cool, man. Appreciate that. Um, delicious, man. I just had that with mayo and uh, pepper, and I bought pre cooked bacon. Like it was out in the shelf. You know what I mean? It's, it's not even in the cold. I was like, what? I've seen it before. Because they don't, they have pork roll there, but I don't like it. I told you guys that in the past. I don't like the one they have there. So, um, you talking to me, Cassie? Are you talking to me? You talking to D man? You're in his life too. Why don't you just ask him over there? I don't, I don't understand why you're asking him here. Unless you're talking to me, I don't see anything from you on Messenger, Cassie. But anywho, let me go back to what I was saying. Okay. Um, so yeah, it was really, really good. It was, it was roast beef and, uh, for the, for the packet, it was two packets pre-sliced and I like that about it. Cause the other one, you just keep it, you know, before you open it, it stays fresher, you know, for a couple of days. So it was five forty nine, but it was like a pound and a half for roast beef. It's freaking cheap, man. Or pound maybe. I don't know. Oh, you got off his life. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate you being here. You know that. I just thought you were still over there, too. I didn't know he ended it. I mean, he didn't end it, but I thought you were still there. I'm sorry. My apologies. But it's the best I felt in a couple of days. I'm happy. Maybe that's what I needed, Mary. Just a nice freaking nice sandwich. I had some um, Doritos on the side. I, uh, I ate, like, oh, just almost gone already. Now, let me let me explain something to you guys. Okay, one, these are six fifty for, for two four-packs. The ones in, in ShopRite... For Ensure, or even the other, any brand that's 30 grams, the four pack are 12, 12 to 13 dollars, 11, 12, somewhere. What's up, bud? What's going on, buddy? Um, so for 650, that's not a bad deal. Um, I, I'm drinking one right now, it's not that bad. Shipped cards out without going to the post office. It's nice, good. You glad you thank you, Mary. But these sun, sun bell. No, what the hell? Sun Sunbell is the is the brand I've showed you before. 
of the blackberries that I love. They're from, um, I think they're from Mexico. Yeah, from Mexico. And in the regular supermarket, they have the same brand, the same size container, same amount of berries. And these are these were a little bit smaller. This this is the biggest one. I've showed you where they were double that size, but a lot of them this size. So there's a shit ton of them in there. Now, I just got home an hour ago and I ate almost a whole container. There's about ten left in here, but I needed my berries, so I'm happy. My point is, in the Shoprite supermarket, the same pack, same amount, is three ninety nine. These were a dollar ninety nine in Aldi's. So I got four packs. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. They'll last me like they'll last me the whole week. You know, not, I mean, I, I don't eat them like this all the time. I just, I just, I miss them. You know, I miss, it's like, you know, missing an old friend. So I'm eating the whole pack. Plus I need, I need the vitamins because I haven't felt good. So, but yeah, $1.99 in Aldi's and they had freaking racks of them. Like they come in these, they come in these Mary, but they come in like in a case, you know, and like in a big case. And there was another guy there and he was, he was going through them and he pulled one from the back. I'm like, oh, thanks, man. You know, I don't have the strength to do that. He's like, I got you. And uh, I'm like, oh, you like these? He's like, dude, he's like, I love them. He's like, I get them all the time. He goes, and they're so much cheaper than any other supermarket. They're cheaper at Aldi's than they are in a freaking farmer's market. So look at that anyway, you know. And they're good. They're, they're freaking they're beautiful. And I got one container of uh, raspberries because they don't last that long. I was going to get two or three of those, but they don't last. They last like three days. So, yeah, Mary, amazing the price difference, man. And like I said, six fifty for a four pack of these, thirty gram. Insure the cheapest, even with a coupon, four dollars off is like eight nine bucks. So that was a good deal. Um, I got a case of their spring water. The spring water is like four ninety nine, a little bit more than, than the other supermarket, but whatever. Um, it was like toilet paper. I got the bulk one. I think is uh ten rolls, eight ten rolls, something like that for like five forty nine. That's cheap. Or 12 rolls, maybe. In a regular supermarket, that's like eight, nine bucks. So definitely cheaper. Uh, paper towels, a six pack of paper towels is like five fifty, four dollars 4 dollars something like that. Where everything else is more expensive than the other spot. Again, with the toilet paper, she said. We all shit. I don't know how you don't use it, but God bless you. I must have dipped a million tadpoles off the pool cover there. Oh, wow. That's cool. It just sucks. They're probably not going to live because they don't have water. They should have got a little thing and put them in there. And they, like, drove them to the little lake or something. But, um, yeah, they're really good, man. They Like, a lot of their name brand stuff, like, their, their store brand stuff is really, really good. You know, some things, you know, like, they have, they'll have um, Kellogg's Raisin Brand right next to their Raisin Brand. Their family size, like the big size raisin brand, is two oh nine. Kellogg's is fucking like five dollars. You know, it's crazy. My wife uses baby wipes. Too. Yeah, I use baby wipes too, but I don't use them here because he doesn't. He doesn't want me to use it because the the plumbing is different in the basement than it is upstairs. So you can't you can't use them here because you don't have that that same like um, U shaped. I don't know. It's weird. He explained it to me. He's like, it's not that I don't want you to use it. He's like, but it's not good for the plumbing when you have the downstairs. I was like, all right, whatever. So, anywho, um, a lot of stuff is cheaper than a regular supermarket. I still spent, Mary, mind you, I, had, I told you, I had 183 on my cash app. I spent 162 on food and everything. My cart was full. I, I have I bought enough for two weeks, so I'm, I'm so happy I did. You know, plus, like I said, the big bulk items are what jacks up the price, too, and the protein drinks, you know. So... But I fucking forgot garbage bags, man. I said it five times and wrote a list, and I forgot garbage bags. I forgot cheese. Uh, I forgot like three or four things. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm good. I'll be all right. I'm going to go out again, you know, before friggin', before the world ends so I can get garbage bags. It's not that big a deal, you know? So my brain, you know, I was telling D-Man and his. I'm like, he's like, oh, I hate when it happens. I'm like, yeah, but me, it's even worse because my brain is fucking shot these days, you know? I use dude wipes. I don't know what that is. She goes, no, that's fine with me. <laughs> so, you know, I did good. I, I basically did, you know, 
I'm now I have no money on my cash. I had to, I gave my dad 20 bucks because he drives me all over the place everywhere. He needed a favor. He said, Can you help me out? You know, I said, I'll give it back to you. I said, Dad, I don't even want it back. I said, As long as I had enough money to get all my food, like I got food now for two weeks solid. I mean, I am, I'm solid, except for getting garbage bags and cheese, whatever. I did really, really good. I'm proud of myself. If I did, if I did what I got today, if I did that in ShopRite, forget it. It would have been like freaking 250 easily. So I'm glad I went to Aldi's. They don't have Taylor Ham that I liked, you know, pork roll. But you gotta take the good with the bad. I bought the uh, I bought the uh, bacon, like I said, pre cooked bacon. And there's a lot in each box. So I'll have that for breakfast. Heat it up in a non stick pan and cook an egg. Have a you know bacon, egg, and cheese or something. Well, once I get cheese. When my memory cooperates, I'll send you a surprise gift package, Paisan. Thanks, Rocco. I appreciate that, brother. Mary. Mary. I swear to God, on my life. I, I I said this. I told you that's key, man, too. I have a list. I wrote a list. I wrote it twice. Right here. Oh, I got my list. Top of the list. Garbage bags. First thing. Shaving cream. Forgot that, too. Um, all right, so I got Scott towels, toilet paper, milk, cheese, eggs, bread, berries. I didn't get on using peppers. That was questionable. That was just my blood sausage, and I didn't. Uh, ice cream I got, potato chips I got, snacks I got, applesauce I got, my fruit cups I got, uh, tuna fish I got. I, I got skipjack tuna, too. Yeah, that's what's even more crazy about it, Mary, is that I had the list inside my bag, and I never took it out. But it happens. We're human. And plus, my memory shot. So I forgot that I even had the list, you know. I got skipjack tuna. I want to try that. And I got regular tuna. I got chili and soup, chunky soup. I have. A, I bought a good one, uh, steak and potato, very hearty. And then I got two other ones. Were, um, they're cheap, too. They're like $3.99 in shop right over there. They're two twenty nine, dollars And it's a huge-ass can. The big cans of Progresso, chunky soup, whichever it was that. Progresso, I think, chunky. I don't know. Whatever it is. Campbell's chunky soup. And I got one. It's um, restaurant-style um chicken pot pie soup i can't wait and i still forget stuff exactly cassie but my brain shot man um what else did i miss pasta and sauce i didn't get pasta because i still have a half a thing there and i got ravioli so i just got a jar of sauce um i got fish i didn't get the salmon and if billy was here he'd be like why it was only in multi-packs and i didn't want to spend it was like 14 dollars. it was a little higher than usual so i didn't get it but I did get breaded shrimp. So I could throw that in a uh, air fryer one night. And then I got um, beer battered haddock. Where's Scott? <laughs> if Scott was in here, he'd be like, Dad, where'd you find it? I mean, David Clark. David would be like, where'd you find that? I got it in Aldi's. If he has an Aldi's, blame me, he could find it. It's so I found it all the way on the bottom shelf. And I looked at the back because I'm like, where's breaded fish? There's just breaded fish sticks, which I told you I won't eat. I don't like them because it's just minced up meat put together. It's gross. And then I look next to it, and it said um, breaded fish filet. So I went to go pick it up, but it was beer-battered haddock. Well, there you are. David, beer-battered haddock. Aldi's, if you have Aldi's over there in North Carolina, which I'm sure you do. Beer-battered haddock. They have it. So there you go. Um, I'm glad I saw that. And I bought it, so I'm probably going to eat that for dinner. I just ate that sandwich now, so I'm probably going to eat a late dinner, like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, but whatever. Um, I wrote down there cheese, white and American. Forgot to get cheese. Forgot to get garbage bags. Pizza, French bread. I bought pizza. I'm going to go grab this. I want to show you guys. Tell me if you ever saw it. I'll be right back. It's a pizza I've never seen before, but I wanted to try it. And I said I wasn't going to get it, but it's not DiGiorno. It's not any of it. It's some fancy looking fucking pizza, but it was only $2.99. Oh, man. Oof. Right. Okay, guys, so it's the brand that I didn't like. I guess it's the only brand they do carry there. Mama Mama Chiozzi or whatever. Mama Cozies. I think it's Mama Cozies. Hold on. Let me sit down. So I can show you guys. But they were on sale for $2.99. They're smaller, but it's it said thin and crispy tomato, mozzarella, and pesto. 
That's why I got it. They were only two ninety nine. It's a smaller little pie, so it's actually better than eating a whole one of those big ones. And then this one is the one that caught my eye. That's why I got it. I didn't see Mama Cozy. Uh, maybe I like it. Maybe I won't. But this one is thin and crispy, spinach and garlic, topped with tomato sauce, spinach, mozzarella, and garlic cream sauce. That looks freaking good, man. That looks really good. What's up, NJ? What's going on, brother? Yeah, I never had these. I had the Mama Cozy other ones, but I, I got this one today. So this one, this one looks good, dude. Spinach and garlic, that looks really good. I'll just cook it a little well done, you know? And then I got the uh, tomato mozzarella pesto. I don't know. Sounded good. Caught my eye. $2.99. Cheap, cheap lunch, you know? Let me go throw them back. I'll be right back. Uh. Oh, man. Damn, I feel good. That sandwich did me justice, man. I, I needed that, I guess. I didn't eat that for breakfast. That's probably why I felt like shit. I feel good now. Uh, making a cheesesteak with onions and bacon tonight with leftover soup. Nice, bro. That sounds real good. Yeah, those little pizzas look good, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, why not? For two ninety nine, I was like, screw it, man. It's a nice little meal during the week. And I got two things of Hot Pockets because they're cheaper than the shop, right? Um, I forgot to get coffee creamer, but I, I got milk. I actually got regular milk today instead of almond milk because it's cheaper over there. I did get that pre-cooked bacon. I got sausage links, like for breakfast. No no Taylor ham this next two weeks. Taken off. I don't like the one in Aldi's. They have pork roll. It's super thick. It's gross. I, I bought it. I didn't like it. Uh, I did get water. I was going to get ginger ale, but I forgot from my belly. But And I got a little thing of peanut butter. Mustard ketchup I got. Yeah, so I did. I did really good. I mean, that's that's the list which I didn't even look at. Otherwise, I would have remembered garbage bags. But that is what it is. Well, it ain't the end of the world. But Mark, that's awesome. But did you see my? Um, I I answered you back on uh, your text. I don't know if you got it back, but that's really nice, man. I hope you. I hope you find peace with that, man. That was really, 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 really nice. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Cutting out the nitrate chair. No, no. I, listen, if they had it there, I would have got it. But I didn't go to Shoprite. I went to Aldi's. They have pork roll, but this shit is like that thick, dude. It's gross. I got it one other time because I was there, and I'm like, I was on a Taylor ham kick for a while, and I fried it up crisp. It was just too much, bro. Just too, too much. It was just too thick, and I didn't like it. Two lives in one day. I'm on. I'm on a roll. Yeah, you are, David. I'm happy, bro. I go live two times a day, every day. If I take off a day, I'd usually let you guys know. But I'm almost at my 4,000 watch hours. So now what, what I need you guys to do is share my friggin' lives out so I can get more subs. I need like another 330-something, 40-something to get to 1,000. If you chant my name three times, my hologram will appear. That happens, same thing with um, Roland Martin. If you say his name three times, it'll show up too. I can't believe I said that without laughing. Oh my goodness! So yeah, I was saying this too, NJ. They had a, you know, I need to, I need to drink these every day. I mean, my doctor's orders. So they have them at Aldi. They're called Elevation. Thirty gram protein, one gram. Same thing as all the other ones, but just a lot cheaper. Six fifty for a four pack. I can't even get the insurers, even with a coupon for four dollars off. I still can't get it for that price. What's up, Benny Finn? You gotta love anything. He comes into my life and says hi to NJ first. Gotta love that. <laughs> Just for that, you're gonna be penalized. No wrench until tomorrow. I'm just kidding, man. How'd your life go? I saw you were live earlier this morning. How'd you? Uh, did you? Did I don't even know. Were you fishing? I think you were fishing. I'm a rebel. <laughs> Read what I said, Jar. Uh... Oh shit! If you say my name three times in a bathroom mirror within ten seconds, you'll have to you will have to take a shit. <laughs> oh, that's messed up, bro. That's fucking hilarious. 
cancel my live stream. Oh, really? I didn't know. I because I, I wound up going live a little after, and uh, I was on the phone actually with um, the one pharmacy for my Lenvima, my freaking cancer meds. They have to send me more. And then I went in. I saw um, who went live. Uh, Two one seven rebel. I thought it was going to be live when I came home, but I guess he ended it. I don't know. Maybe it started raining, but it was over when I got home. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I was in there talking to him before I went shopping, and then I was like, "Yo, I'll be, I'll be back in like forty-five minutes." I said, "I'll jump back in live." He goes, "Well, it might rain or whatever. Is like, the fishing sucks? I'm not going to stay that long." I was like, "All right." Came home and. It was still on my screen. I never even shut my laptop or anything. And I went to just, you know, hit the, to go back to the live, to go relive or whatever. You know what I mean? Because I went off live. And uh, he said, nope, he was done. So he didn't do good. I know that. He he had one before the live started. I don't know if he got anything after that, but he didn't get anything by the time I left. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I, I think that's what I needed, guys. I needed to get out. Yesterday I couldn't because I had that little spell of, dizziness or whatever but i needed to get out just move around then i came home and i ate i had a nice freaking sandwich for lunch good bread good meat you know, some doritos protein shake my berries i ate a whole fucking thing i ate a whole container of these mark fuck it i needed them man i hadn't eaten them for like a week my body needs that man it needs the freaking needs the vitamins you think no no i asked that as soon as i got in the car and he said no it wasn't there so probably tomorrow yeah, probably tomorrow, Mary. You'll be the first to know. Well, besides my dad, he'll be the first to know because he'll get it. But um, I guess we'll have to. I don't know if he's going to want to come out tomorrow. I told him that I wanted to go do laundry. So worst case scenario, I can. Um, he can bring that to me. We'll, we'll go do the laundry. He said he'll sit there with me. Well, it'll only take an hour to do the laundry. And then um, we got a dollar store right next door. So I'll go in there. If I, I got to see what money I have. I don't even know if I have enough money. I have a dollar seventy-five in my cash shop right now. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I want to get garbage bags, but I should have enough and change to get it. So, yeah, I'll get a, I'll get garbage bags because I won't make it. I have, like I said, I had a donation on uh, GoFundMe. Terry put some money on there. I think it was last week, but I saw it when I get it when it's going to drop into my cash app. It won't be until I think Monday or Tuesday, probably. So I have to wait. Like I said, my dad, if my dad has the money, you know, back by then, he said, I'll give it to me, but I don't even want it back. You know, my dad does so much for me, man. 20 bucks to throw in for a gas tank isn't much to ask, really. He does so much for me, man. He wastes a lot of gas. So when he asks me and it doesn't happen very often, can you help me out? I say yes, because he never says no to me ever. So it is what it is. It's family. You don't say no to family. If you can do it, that's why I told him. I said, make sure I just want to make sure I have enough money to do what I got to get in the supermarket. And then uh, if I got it, you got it. Like I said, giving them that 20 that left me with nothing. I have nothing. Except for a full freezer and full fridge and cupboards, and I'm stacked. I'm happy. Plus, next week, I'll probably, um, tomorrow, I'm going to call up and get all that information from disability again. Call that bank, and they'll resend me another card. That'll be by my parents' house by mid next week, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'll be fine. <clears throat> God delivered for me majorly tomorrow. What what happened, Rocco? What's going on? As always, why why? Put out a video instead. Okay, I'll check it out. And I was only kidding. I'll give you a wrench too. I was waiting for you to comment again. I like everybody having a wrench. People say it's not good. I don't care. I do what I want. It's my channel. Let's see if it'll let me click it on you. There we are. There we are. Standard Modern Rator. Do right by it. Funds and food. Funds and food. Good, Rocco. Good. Hi, Michelle. How are you, sweetheart? How are you doing? David, why'd you say no? I wasn't making you a mod. No, I was making a... 
anything is possible, Lamont. Hello, Shell Bell. I can't call you that. That's Mary's. That's Mary's pet name. You don't want to know my pet name for Mary. I don't know if I could say it on here. And so much more. Good, Rocco. That's good, man. You are blessed. All right, now you're a mod too, Michelle. You're welcome, bro. No problem. There's so many people to say, yeah, no problem. Make sure you do it when I come to your life. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. I don't care. I'm like David. I don't give a shit if I have one or not. I know. I'm not a troll. I just do it so everybody's protected against trolls and shit because I had somebody out there timing people out, man, who I made a mod. I trusted. I don't even know who it is to this day. But what I did was I just unmodded everybody and remodded people. And I thought I was your sugar plum, G. No. Oh. Mary's my sugar plum, you know. Well, she's my sugar plum baby. So you could be my sugar plum, I guess. She's my sugar plum baby. Nah, 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 nah. You know the song? And worst of all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know it's probably not even sugar plum, the words in the song, but you had me stuck against the wall there, Rock. I didn't know what to say. I had to sing my way out of that one. Oh, me. All right, they're not bad. Not bad. For the price, these are not bad, and it has the protein I need, so there you go. Word. Cool. I'm happy. I'll fight you for the name, Rocco. Listen, you guys need to do me one favor. Just fight nice, please. Fight nice. Fight nice. You kids. What am I going to do with you kids? I'm sweetie pie, sweetheart. That is very, very true, Michelle. You like that, Mary? Got it off again. Oh, you're welcome, Michelle. Hello, Gerald. Hello, Miss Hazel Eyes. How are you? I never fight nice. I fight dirty. Ooh. There you go. There's a difference of fighting nice and talking dirty. I know that. <clears throat> this show is brought to you by Nice Spring Water. It is no longer sponsored on the channel, but if you'd like to sponsor the channel, I would appreciate that, Nice. Thank you. Carry on. Let's get on with the rest of the content. I box Janet Reno style. <laughs> What's up, Billy? How did the uh, MRI go, man? I'm all right. Just doing my thing. How are you doing? This I'm good. I, I'm actually good right now. I don't know. I went shopping. Went to Aldi's. Did my food shopping. Forgot a couple things because I my brain is burnt at 48. But it is what it is. I did good. I went shopping for two weeks. I had the money in the cash app. So I said, you know what? Bang it out. I did for two weeks. And then uh, I got some more money coming on the Monday or Tuesday. So I'll just... Deal with it until then, and then I'll go get garbage bags. Because I forgot garbage bags and cheese and I don't know, one or two other things, but it's okay. I did good, though. I went to ha uh, I was about to say I went to Hazel's. <laughs> I went to – I said that, MRI. I said, how'd the MRI go? Did I say CAT scan? If I did, I'm sorry. I could have sworn I said MRI. <sighs> Jerk. <laughs> you say that every time. Jersey tap water in a bottle. Probably is, but you know what? Makes me feel better that it's in a bottle. It says nice on it. But I didn't get that today. I got I got water from Aldi's, and that's a uh, pure, pure, uh, pure aqua, pure aqua tap water from the spring of New Jersey. Yeah. It was just a typical MRI. Oh, okay, cool deal. No, I was just asking. No worries. I'm all right, just doing my thing. Yeah. So I mean I'm doing good. I came home, I ate a whole thing of friggin' blackberries. They had they're dollar ninety nine in Aldi's, Billy. And they're three ninety nine in the supermarket. Duh. I should just get them in Aldi's all the time. It makes you pure. Yeah, okay. You should have some, Mary. If you was here, I would have deserved a backslap for that one. But I told you I'm getting quicker, lady. I'm getting quicker. I'm getting sharp. 
No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, honey. I can't wait to have American coffee. Eh, it's not to brag about. It's just coffee. Best coffee comes from Brazil. I actually was going to make a pot of coffee, but I'm not. I was going to, but I decided not to. <clears throat> I had a nice sandwich and some Doritos and some berries. I feel like a million dollars now. Well, I feel like I feel like about twelve dollars, but million dollars of work. Look at these things, man. So they had these. I saw them. There's fourteen in a pack, and it was a dollar ninety nine for snacks. Now you have, they have Slim Jims, right? They have Slim Jims. I don't want to show you the name. Original Smoke Snack Stick. These are Sims Sim Sticks instead of Slim Jims. They're Sim Jims. They're the knockoff brand. But they're good just for a little protein and fat, you know, a little snack. I just realized just now, Billy, I have nice bowl and basket and pure aqua. I need to get these off my friggin' table. They're all, I got bottles all over the place. I should be sponsored by at least one of them. I'm getting slower than quicker. Hmm. Okay, Michelle. Don't start that in here. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in the air fryer. Put what in the air fryer? Oh, the uh, the uh, the snacks, the snack sticks, snack stick, stick snack, stick stick. Say that for you five times. Stick snack, stick stick snack. I can't even say it once. Oh, who are you kidding? You're about as sharp as a butter knife. Thanks, David. You're a good friend. I wonder. I wonder why I keep you around. I know now. But they're not Slim Jim, bro. They're freaking Sim. That's the name of them. Sim. Sims. Sims original smoked snack stick, made with beef, pork, and chicken. I had I had two of them before when I first got in the house. They're pretty good. They're not bad. What it do, squad? What up, uh, Kels? What's going on, brother? What is happening? Just got back from the Aldi's. I went food shopping, man. Got a bunch of shit I needed. Feel a little human, man. I ate some lunch. I felt like shit, dude. But uh, I got out a little bit and ate some lunch, and I feel better now, man. Thank God. <laughs> I feel human for the first time in a while. You got to do Macho Man's voice. Oh, yeah. Snap it to a Slim Jim. Cows, I got him in uh oh shit, one just went underneath the fucking couch. I just got I got these in Aldi's, bro. Look, they're not Slims, they're Sims. They're not Slim Jims. They're Sims. <laughs> but there's 14 of them that size for like a dollar ninety nine. I was like, you know what? That's a good protein snack. I'm just hanging out, watching TV or whatever. It's so fun being good. How would you know, Mary? Because you're you're bad. You're a bad girl. <clears throat> hey, I was being good. Cough, cough. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, Kels. These 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 ladies are tearing me up in here, man. They're giving me a hard time today. How you feeling, brother? I know you're off the uh, you're off the to chemo. I think, right? Hope you know. I was just kidding. I know, David. I know you long enough to know you're joking around. Read it again. It's so, oh, it's no fun being good. Oh. Like though you said, it's so fun being good. Ghetto fabulous. Ah, diving almost in Myrtle. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet. How long are you staying in Myrtle? You're going to see Junior, right? Is that where you're staying? You're staying by Junior or no? I told you no one can handle the Welsh woman. I can. Till Monday. Oh, cool, man. That's awesome. You staying by juniors? Oh, shit. Excuse me. Hey, Kels, you know what I want to ask you besides uh, if you're staying by juniors? And you don't have to say where you're staying, but do you eat, do you eat berries? Like, I was, t my doctor told me it was really good to eat berries, like uh, raspberries or blackberries or anything like that. I tear these up, man. These blackberries. If you ever see them down there by you, Sunbell, they're they're amazing, bro. Blackberries, phenomenal, bro. I tore a whole pack of them up since I got home today. 
Nah, house in Ocean Lakes. Oh, cool, man. Nice. Did you bring the dogs? Oh, yeah. Oh, good, man. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him, my, my oncologist told me, bro. He's like, you got to, you know, if you're going to eat shit, he goes, you know, I had to put the weight back on since I lost all that weight. He's like, you know, eat shit. He's like, I don't care. He's like, but I need you to eat healthy too. You know, drink the, I just got these and all these too. These, I drink these every day, man. At least two or three of them. Oh, just you. Just you by yourself. Wow. Okay. I drink these every day. At least I drink about two of them a day. They're the 30 gram proteins. I drink them every day. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. And I got them pretty cheap over there. <clears throat> oh, just you, huh? That's cool. Little you time. Mama's coming up tomorrow. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Cool. Good. Smoked meat on the menu. <laughs> Freaking NJ, you're crazy, dude. Now I'm having um I don't know the brand. I didn't even look at the brand actually. Is the um I got the battered shrimp, frozen shrimp. I don't know. I think there's like 20 of them in there. It was like $4.99. So I was like, whatever, that's not bad for 20 shrimp. And then um I'm restarting my cachava bender. Good. That's good, Rocco, because that's I know that's good for you, man. You said you like it, and it's good for you health-wise. I don't like it. I tried it. I think it's gross. But if you like it, then get back on it again. Um, and then I got a beer-battered haddock. I don't know the, the company name of it. I got to look. I'll tell you what. It looked really damn good, though, on the box. So That's what I'm going to eat for dinner. Beer-battered haddock. I'm going to throw that in the uh, air fryer. And then uh, maybe some just corn. I got some uh, kernel corn. No, it's not Gorton's. I got it in... Um, I'll go get it. Hang on. Oh, where does shrimp come from? It comes from China. China. I try to say it like Donald Trump. I'm getting better every day. Sorry, David, I lied to you, bro. It's not haddock. I apologize. It's actually better. Uh, I, I must really like you guys because I just did this friggin' five minutes ago with the pizza. You know how much I don't like getting up. But, um, I grabbed them by the fish. China. Guaranteed it's not from the USA. I think it is. These are jumbo breaded butterfly shrimp. Oven crunchy breaded shrimp, easy to prepare and ready in minutes. About 12 shrimp per box. I don't know how many are in there. If this is the one box, I guess there's 12, but it looks it's pretty heavy. Um, and I'll tell you, Aldi, some of the stuff they got, like, like they're, oh, right here, farm raised product of Vietnam. They're not from the US, you're right. But they, that looks good. And this was, this was like $4.99, I think. That's a hell of a meal. Yeah, it's big, man. This, there might be there might be two boxes in there. I don't know. And then I got this Fremont Fish Market wild caught beer battered cod, made from whole fillets, ready in twenty two to twenty four minutes. Two hundred thirty calories, about five fillets. It says beer battered cod. I thought it was haddock, uh, David. My bad. It's not. It's a uh, beer battered cod. The picture does it doesn't look like that's beer batter. It looks like it's regular, but whatever. It says certified sustainable seafood, wild caught, beer battered cod. It says about five fillets. I don't know if they're artists. They're pretty big. That's a big box. But extra tartar sauce. I didn't get tartar sauce though. But I got pickles, and I have mayo, and I have sriracha. So I'll make my own little um, my own little spicy remoulade with that.
<clears throat> All right, I'm not doing that again, guys. I promise you. I promise you that ain't happening again. <laughs> oh, mate. All right. Oof. Kels, if you're still in the background, brother, I hope you have a great trip, man. And I'll, uh, are you going to go live tonight? Are you doing anything tonight from down there? If you are, just just holler at me. Let me know, man. Shoot me a text. I'll, I'll jump over there and hang out for a while. But thank you for coming in, brother. I appreciate it, bro. Uh, fresh caught fluke or striper fire fried up. Yeah, that's true. I'll tell you, I, lo I love fresh freshwater fish too. Like trout, you know, I get fresh trout caught that day, come bring them home, and I don't fillet them because they're too small. I cook them whole and I just score them. I cut the head and tail off and fins, cut some slits in the side of the skin, get it nice and out. A nice um, cast iron skillet, hot. Get that skin crispy, man. And I'll tell you what, that shit falls right off the bone. There's nothing better than that, in my opinion. I mean, except for fluke, obviously, striper, uh, fresh cod, and stuff like that. But talk amongst yourselves. Mary, you're in charge. Uh oh. Sweetie pie, you're tall. No, I'm not even six foot. I'm like 5'11. Five, five Don't deal with bones. But I'm telling you, when you. When you when you do them the way I do them in a cast iron, bro, they come right. It just pulls up. It's like a little bit, little bit makes the noise like an accordion. Ding, 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 ding. They come right up. I'm not doing that again either. I thought it was funny, but we slammed the stripers on Monday. Sadly, not slot fish. Yeah, Are you talking about a uh, ocean stripers or are they the landlocked stripers? When I'm hungry, I don't have time to jerk around. I <laughs> I hear you, bro. I do. <laughs> no, that's funny. I like the way you put that. When I'm hungry. I don't have time to jerk around, Jar. No time. No, it's funny. Yes, what? They were, where'd you get them? In the um, oh, near Sea Isle. Okay. What'd you get them on? Were you using bait or were you using uh, lures? Because we get them here, like on swim baits or flukes. And, you know, flukes rigged on a jig head. Swim baits. Uh, all different shit. Peed like a thoroughbred horse. Thanks, Rocco. Appreciate that. Hi, Cindy. How you doing? She said, what's up, y'all? Nothing. I was just showing off my groceries. I'm not going to do it again, though, because I just walked back and forth twice, and I'm done. <laughs> Half-ounce jig head with four-inch pile. There you go. We get them on. When they're running good, we'll use um, I use a three-quarter ounce or a one-ounce jig head with a uh, six-inch paddle tail. They fucking go berserk. When the bunker in, the big bunker in, they go nuts, dude. Oh, I don't know if you know them as bunker. They're Menhaden, whatever you guys call them there. I don't know. I feel short compared to you. Why? How tall are you, Michelle? I could fit you in my other pocket. I'm a shit shit. Lucky if I'm 5'2". Yeah, I could stick Mary in the hood of my hoodie, in the little back of my hoodie. She, can, she was going to come shopping with me before. You're 5'7". Okay. You're not you're not a terribly short, no. Mary's a shorty. Short shit. Oh, she says I'm a short shit. <laughs> uh, you hitting those white claws early today, Mary. <laughs> I freaking love you, Mary. You crack me up, man. You crack me up. You are a hoot and a half, lady. Oh man. Thanks for the seven people and eight thumbs up. I appreciate it. Not yet? Oh, okay. You said not yet, which means that's going to happen today. Good for you. I wish I could. Have one for me. I wish I could. I was just thinking about it this morning when I got off my live, and I was just uh, sitting thinking. I was like, you know, I don't miss it at all. But don't get me wrong. I, I You know what I enjoy to drink the most was when I got off of work, busted my balls on a Friday, Saturday night, you know, filled the dining room up two, three times, just busy as hell, just to have that, a nice cold beer at the end of the night. Or just like a you know nice two finger pour of a good kick ass bourbon or something you know I don't know man I just enjoyed it I really did drinking right now me no yeah okay you drink every day you said got to get dinner together I'll keep you running thanks Ben what's for dinner what are you making wine maybe oh okay wine's wine's nice wine's uh for me wine would be a good like. This is how it was with my ex, put it to you this way. She she took wine to a fucking other level, but um, that's neither here or there. But when I would have a couple glasses of wine with her, we would go out to eat, you know, have a nice dinner, have a couple glasses of wine there, a red, whatever. 
then come home, stop on the way home and get a bottle of wine. For me, it's a good middle of the week. You know, if you're if you're gonna have a drink, I like I like a wine during the week. It's nice. It's relaxing. Makes me sleep like a baby. Yeah, red wine only. Um, the only white wine I ever did enjoy in my life was um, Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio, and that exact brand too, Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio. It was the only white wine I liked. Really cold. But other than that, I don't like white wine except cooking, using it to cook. My low is all right. Uh, my favorite red is uh, Pinot Noir. A couple good ones. I like Pinot Noir. Uh, I like Cabernet, but it depends. You know, I like Cabernet for with food, with a good steak or pork chop or something. You know, Cabernet just pairs really nice. Um, and the white wine gives me headaches. Yeah, real bad. Yeah, Pinot Noir is my favorite too. It's just it's not too it's not too heavy like a cab. You know, it's it's nice, man. I like it. It's very smooth. Um, I'm a daiquiri. I'm secure enough to admit it. Hey, hey, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Malibu, and I drink port wine. Port wine? I heard port wine's not bad. Mm, that's red, though, right? Port wine's red, isn't it? I think. I love sangria. Sangria is, I mean, but you know, you got to be in the right atmosphere for sangria because that shit will catch up to you after a while. Port wine cheese. Yeah, port wine cheese is very good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, bringing up cheese, uh, NJ, you've been in Aldi's up here. You ever see they have friggin' dude, they have a, a wheel of brie, a wheel of brie this big, this thick for $249. I didn't get it because I was skeptical. I'm like, wait a minute. How do they have a wheel of brie that fat, that big for $2.50? That doesn't make any sense to me. I, I'm going to get it next time just to try it. But I, I love brie. I just love that uh, that briny outside, and then it's so smooth and creamy inside. I just love that texture on the outside. It's amazing to me. Yeah, I'm going to try it out. It probably can't be that bad. I mean, it's freaking cheese. <clears throat> we made all those for years. Grapes from Napa Valley. Had them shipped in. Nice, Mary. My uncle, uh, they still do. His, my, my, my uncle Walt, his wife, um, his wife's side of the family, um, they're Italians, and the father and the grandfather did wine for years and years and years. So I remember being a kid, and we'd go to Christmas dinner by my mom's, you know, by my grandparents, my mom's mom, and my uncle would, Uncle Walt would show up, and he'd have friggin' two bottles of wine for my parents, you know, from the from the winery. And um, my dad said it was that shit was strong. Like I'm not going to show you my information, but let me turn it this way. So like a little glass like that. You ever, you ever have a little wine glass like that? The little short little guys. They don't have a handle or nothing, but they're about that big. Like that said, maybe that much of that much of Mr. Polina's red wine, crocked. He goes, don't think about driving after even have a glass that size. He goes, you ain't driving. Just tasty, smooth, but strong. Well, it will knock your shit out. He said. I love cheese, full stop. Yeah, I don't like like I don't like cheese. Like I'm not all in with cheese, but if you're at a party or something and they have a you know they have brie on there or like I like a good cheddar, you know, or whatever, you know, shit like that. But it was made in the basement in New Jersey. What the one I was talking about? No, it was made. In, it wasn't made in Jersey. No, it was actually made in Italy from the grandfather. He had it shipped here to America for to my my uncle's wife's father, and then he continued it here um but not not here not like not where i live no <clears throat> my guardian looked like little italy in the process my garage yeah that's cool mary yeah mm -hmm. i love wheat thins vermont cheddar a slice of apple that's nice that sounds good baklava <laughs> that's so funny cindy i just saw you put that in there baklava <laughs> oh man where's Rocco Rocco you still here Rocco I want you to do me a favor Paisan can you explain in the chat it doesn't have to be full detail what tiramisu is or NJ for that matter can you explain to Cindy what is in tiramisu her description of tiramisu last night had me rolling I said I was leaving and I did I was just laying there I was under the blankets I didn't want to get up to, ch to type in the chat but you had me rolling when you said it was like cheesecake. You were like, it's cheesecakey. That was rolling. 
Sure. Thank you, Rocco. You and NJ, both of you guys can put it in there. <laughs> Fucking Billy. He said tiramisu is raw meat. No. It is not. Baklava. I was I you know it was cracking me up too the way the way Travis was saying baklava. He kept saying it over and over. It was cracking me up so hard, man. I had to get up and pee. I almost peed my pants. He kept saying baklava, baklava, baklava. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Looks like it though, kind of. You know, it has um, lady fingers um, that are dipped in coffee, yeah, you know, in espresso, yep, with cream. It's layers. They layer it, and then they put cream, <clears throat> cocoa powder, yep, and then uh, good, good cream, like whipped cream. Yep. I work at a bakery, Jerry. I know you do. That's why I said you too. But I, I know I, I wanted Rocco to, you know, my pie's on. Tiramisu is good. If it's made, if it's made right, it's really, really good. Same thing with baklava too. I mean, baklava you don't find too often, you know. But do you guys have that in the uh, bakery by you, Mark? NJ, baklava. Or as Travis says, baklava. Did he had me rolling, dude? I was laughing so hard, bro. <clears throat> Oh, you don't? No. Yeah. I hear you. I like a good cannoli from time to time, I'll tell you that. It means perk up, I think. What, tiramisu in Italian? I'm not sure. You're probably right. I don't speak Italian. I worked at an Italian restaurant, Italian, did whatever, you know, or whatever that house of mozzarella. That's where I worked. We are we a restaurant, a deli, a catering, coffee shop, everything into one friggin' building. It's amazing. I, need, I want you to come down here one day, um, NJ. Come check out where I work. Chocolate covered cannolis. They're good. Yeah. I'm off to bed. Uh, had a long day. Talk soon. All right. Good night, Michelle. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, she's across the pond over there. So it's late over there for her. So she's going to get to sleep. Thank you for hanging out for a little bit. We got the spinach, cheese, croissants. That's as close to Greek as we sell. Oh, okay. Makes a kick-ass baklava. <laughs> Sweaty Greek bakery. Makes a kick-ass baklava. Oh, by you, you mean, Billy? They have it by you down there in Florida? I worked at Rocco's Pizzeria in high school. Cool. <clears throat> but, I mean, that that's huge around here, Cindy, you know? Like, there's... Italian coffee shops and I'm friggin', you know, every couple blocks over here pretty much, you know. It's a, just a thing in the area. I mean, not always every couple blocks, but I mean, there's a bunch, you know, you go there and it's just a bunch of Italian guys hanging out, you know, smoking cigars and or cigarettes and drinking espressos and eating cannolis and shit. Tarpon Springs, Greek capital of Florida. Really? I did not know that. Wow. There's a little tidbit, right? Good for trivia night. Tarpon Springs is Greek capital of Florida. Holy shit, I did not know that. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, sweet dreams, Michelle. Just dream of me, okay, sweetheart? She's not going to. She's going to dream of Kenny. I know that, but that's okay. No, I did not know that, uh, Billy. That's crazy. That's like New York City has its own, you know, they have all their areas. You know, you got Chinatown, Greek Town, this town. It's, 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 it's amazing, New York. New York is just a crazy place, dude. I don't go there. Me and, me and NJ are literally 15 minutes from New York City, but I don't go there. I don't know if he does. I don't. It's too crazy for me. I used to when I was younger. I, I'd go there a little once in a while, but it's not for me. It's too, especially now that I'm sick. I, there's no way. But even before I was sick, I, I couldn't do it. It's just too much. It's just, The city is a wild place, dude. Crazy, crazy place. For one, you need money to hang out there, even for the day. I don't go there anymore, Jerry. Yeah, I don't either. I'm too old for that shit. Too old for that. But it's just, I got, I still got friends my age. You know, they go into the city. You know, we're going into the city to get, you know, to get dinner and, and a movie. Like, you're gonna go into the city for that? For one, you're paying freaking thirteen dollars to go over the freaking bridge. It's freaking ridiculous. They come from Greece 150 years ago to kill Sponge. Wow, that's cool to know, man. Thank you for sharing that tidbit. I never would have knew that in my life. That's cool, bro. Hmm. 
I, lo- I mean, I love Greek food. I worked, I worked at a Greek restaurant one time for, I don't know. I worked at a Greek restaurant, restaurant one time for about six months. And then I worked at a restaurant, an Italian restaurant, which was run by a Greek. Pretty crazy. But very, very good chef. He was, uh, he was trained in Italy and in France and all over the place. Really good chef. So it didn't matter where he was from, but he had, he had a couple of uh, Greek dishes, but um, more of the dessert side than anything else. Cause it was an Italian restaurant. So he didn't want to, cross over too much and it confused people. But like I said, he was trained in Italy and in France. And I think, I think Austria, I think he trained in Austria too. If I think, if I remember correctly, Nashville is diverse. Yeah. Yeah. So but, um, there's, there's a good place here next town over. We just passed it, me and my dad, cause he had to go to CVS. So he went the back way called Sparta Taverna. It's a, it's, a good, it's a good Greek joint. I get the gyros there. Very, very good. The ones with the French fries inside I was telling you about, Billy. Really, really good. But like I said, two gyros delivered, 25 bucks. You know? All Mexicans cooking in the Greek restaurants in Tarpon Springs, I bet. Listen, Mexicans are cooking in every restaurant everywhere. Trust me on that one. Murfreesboro is a big college town with a lot of cafes. Well, that makes sense. You know, kids going to college at the, you know, coffee shops. I'm sure there's there's probably coffee shop cafes and, and bars, right? Biggest thing in a college town. I mean, I don't know, maybe not a college town for bars, I guess. Probably there's probably bars right outside that town, pretty sure. Because you're not tw- you're not 21 until what? If you go right to college from high school, you're what, 18? 19, 20, 21. Most places, 21. So you're probably not like a sophomore or junior in college. So it wouldn't make sense to have a bunch of bars. But it would make sense to have bars in a college town, I guess. <clears throat> but cafes for sure. And they're probably all in there too, you know, studying with their laptops, drinking coffee. Smart thing to do, especially nowadays. I mean, I know it was big in the 90s and the early 2000s. Cafes like that, you know, like uh, what they call them. Um, uh, I forgot what they called them, but there were places where, like students would go there, you know, with their with their computer laptops or whatever, you know, and uh, do their homework or shit, whatever their their all their work that they had to do, and be drinking coffees like crazy. It kept a lot of a lot of those places uh, open. <clears throat> well, that's a good tidbit. I never would have known that one. Greeks took over 150 years ago to kill sponge. That's that's wild. Hipsters, yeah. There you go. Thank you to the five people in chat. Ten thumbs up. I appreciate it. My dad said to me, he said to me the other day, he's like, how do you go through so much water? You're just one person. I said, I drink like eight a day. So eight a day times three days is 24, right? And that's how many are in a freaking case. So I go through a case in like three days, maybe four days. I should have got two, three cases, but I hate, I don't want to be carrying that shit in the, in the house. You know, have my dad do it. Because a lot of times I'll have a deal like pull and spring three for like $11 or something. But I don't want to be carrying this shit in. Baristas with man buns? Really? Those are hipsters for sure. With the man bun. That's a good one, Rocco. That's funny. I'll never see you'll never catch me in a man bun. Ever. Three for eleven a shop, right? Yeah, I know, but I just don't want to carry them, man. No, I don't have my dad do it, you know. He carried the one case back from the front of the house, and I just we, I told him just park, you know. He helped me carry the, the water and a couple of bags, and I'm like, just put it by the back door. I'll come out and get it. So I just opened the door, and I threw the fucking paper towels down the stairs and the toilet paper. <sighs> 35-pack Poland Spring for three sixty nine. I didn't see that. I wasn't a shopper, but I haven't seen that deal. That's a good deal, though, really. 35 pack. It really is. But that wouldn't fit in my fridge. I'd have to break it up before I put it in there. Case fits perfect on the bottom shelf. I just slide it in. No, I got to go out anyway. Um, I got to go out tomorrow anyway, but I don't know if I have the money. I don't think I'm going to have the money on my card. I spent almost everything, like I said. So I'm not going to have the money to go. I need to get garbage bags and... I'll just wait till I can get through the weekend. I think I just put the bag in the garbage can like yesterday or the day before, so I should be fine. 
I'm just me. I don't have that much garbage. Uh, you'll just slide it in. Yep. That's what I do. I take the 24 pack and I slide it in the spot there. I could fit two cases down there perfect if I wanted to, but I have other shit. Because it's not, a, I mean, it's a regular size fridge, but it's not huge. You know what I mean? Even the freezer, the freezer's full right now. I can't, I can't have no room to put anything in there. What it means to be from Maine. I uh, gone fishing with Bill Dance today. I've been home for two hours and I've already drank two bottles of water. I just drank a lot of water, man. It just says what it is. It's better than drinking soda and shit. But I did want to get soda, like a two liter of like Diet Pepsi or, or Coke Diet. I mean, not Diet Pepsi because I don't like Diet, Pepsi, Diet Coke or ginger ale or something just to change it up. But, meh, fuck it. I'll buy another case of water when I go out Monday or Tuesday. No worries. If I last, I should last that long. Hopefully. What's today? Thursday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. I should have money hit maybe Monday or Tuesday. We'll see. Happy 420. Is it 420? It's 437, Rocco. You missed it. Where do you see a 35 pack of Poland Spring for 369, bro? I don't see that here. Not a shop right here. I looked last time and I went last week. I didn't see it. Dos Equis. Stay thirsty, my friends. Oh, man. So what's going on? Who's live tonight? Any uh, Fisher people? Fisher peoples? I say that because I know there's some women and men that go live. So I say fishermen. What Fisher peoples are live tonight? I think Cindy mentioned somebody. What's up, Scratch and Wolf? Cindy mentioned somebody. Uh, I don't know if Kels didn't say it before in the chat if he was going live or not. I'm not sure if he is. Did he say he was? Drink like a fish. Right, Rocco? Yep. Kels, I guess, will probably go live. At some point, but his lives ain't that long. I'm talking like a couple hour, like you know, fishing live or something. I think Cindy, Cindy, you still here? She might have left. She's at work. Uh, I think she said. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, Billy. If you're still here, I think she said Mo Dog. Is that right, Mo Dog? I don't know. I don't think I'm subscribed to Mo Dog. If I don't, I, I don't know how to get the uh, link to be able to go over there. I know Rustic was live this morning. I jumped into Rustic for a little bit before I went live. And Bugman will be live tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. But who's live tonight? Mix. Oh, uh, Kells is doing a mix tonight. Okay. My coffee is pumped into me regularly. <laughs> Crack me up, dude. <clears throat> What's going on, Wolf? I was looking for you this morning. But I thought you was working. Oh, no, you go to work now. That's right, you don't work then. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Whew. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to uh, chill out the rest of the night. Probably make some of that fish or a shrimp. I don't know. Warm a little bit of each. I don't know who's... On tonight, usually Thursdays, you got to play it by ear. Maybe, yeah, she said, I think she said Mo Dog, but I wasn't sure about the name. You said Mood Dog, but I think you mean Mo Dog, I guess. That's the same one that goes into her lives, right? I just, I don't think I subscribe to him. If I did, it'll come up. If not, then uh, that is what it is. But is Kenny doing anything tonight? I had to leave the stream. My yard was bombarded with neighbors. No, he's not, he's not live at all today. He's got a, uh, one of those. Things he's got to go live, telephone call, or whatever, Zoom or something. He's got to do a Zoom call. So he said he will not be live tonight at all. He said maybe, maybe, but I highly doubt it. He said most likely no. Yeah, I'm at work and got guests coming up. Okay. I'm sober but crazier than Mike Tyson. Tell him I said that. <laughs> you tell him. 
Rocco's avatar is a cup of coffee. I don't know. It looks like his friggin' it looks like his head, but what do you have? Coffee in your hand in that picture, Rocco? That's like a tamed Rocco in that picture, man. He sent me a picture the other day when he had his beard, dude. His beard was like this, dude. Sick. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. He said he, he said it yesterday that uh he's not doing anything. He will be live tomorrow and he'll have after dark. Pretty sure he'll do after dark tomorrow and Saturday. Which is cool. I enjoy it. I know Ted is live now, which is odd usually. Uh no, he goes live usually around this time with Nora a lot. And Bean or whatever, but he usually goes together with Nora a lot of time around this time. <clears throat> there was two people when I when I was doing lottery. Now I didn't have a lot of following, you know. I had my regular peeps that came in that were in the books and stuff, but I guaranteed it every single time I went live. Ted was nowhere to be found. And matches was nowhere to be found. And within five minutes of me hitting that live button, dude, either one of those were live. Automatic. Wild. I used to think they did it on purpose. I swear to God. Crazy. Now I don't give a shit because I'm not in the lottery. I don't do it anymore. So I don't care. But it's not like I was taking anything away from them. Like they needed to go live. Oh my God. Steal people away from fucking Gerald. I'm like, really? Steal away two of my five people? Makes no sense. It is what it is. There's people that think that way sometimes. And I'm not saying Ted does. I'm not saying Matches did either. I just I didn't think it was just coincidence. But it was like, what? Every time. But yeah, I don't know if Ted is live um, with Nora right now, or is it just him by himself? I don't know. He's been doing panels. Afternoon. He, I don't know. He enjoys it. <clears throat> Ted's a good guy. I like Ted. He's all he's all in though. He's all about like lottery, man. He's all lottery YouTube, bro. Like sometimes it, it gets to be too much for me, really. I'm not saying it, it's not a bad thing, you know. If that's what he's into, God bless you. But for me, it's sometimes it's a little overloading. Like I don't I don't think I get into anything that much except for fishing. But to each his own, you know. That's what he loves and he enjoys it, then go run with it, man. Doing the adult panel, eighteen plus. Oh, okay. I think they they set them all to it now because they can get a little a little rowdy sometimes, you know, when they talk. So they want to keep it. I mean, every all my things are made to um, not made for kids. Every single live I do, videos I do, which I don't do videos really anymore. But every live I do is always set to not set for children or kids or whatever. They're they're starting to put it in their title though when they write their title out, you know. 18 plus, whatever, which is a good thing. I heard that's a good thing to do, especially, you know, when they're the way they get, you know, they, they just, just, you know, they talk like adults, you know what I mean? Like a bunch of adults hanging out, you know, shooting the shit or whatever. And I mean, I'm allowed to curse. I can curse on my channel, but I, you know, I can't get too bad because then it's, uh, YouTube doesn't like that either, but it's okay. Cause I don't, I shouldn't have kids in here since I have a set that not, not for kids. Doesn't mean that, you know, kids not going to be in here watching in the background and mom is not looking. You know what I mean? I'm sure it happens to everybody. <clears throat> All right, Rocco, take care, brother. I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to go to the lobby and fix myself a treat. That sounds good. Good for you, brother. Yeah. I'm going to be off of here shortly. About another 15 minutes. 10, 15. And I'm going to go... Um, What was I gonna do? I don't know what I was gonna do. Oh, I, I shaved already, but I can, I can touch it up. I, I I bought some new razors too. I got like a five pack of uh, triple razors. I don't know, they were cheap. They were like two seventy nine. I was like, yeah, let's see how shitty they are. It might be. I mean, they'll probably be good for like one or two times. And then they're probably garbage. But it is what it is. I needed them, but I don't have any friggin'. You know, I can't do it anyway. I have no. That's what I forgot. I forgot a uh, shaving cream. Could use soap. I've used soap a million times in my life. Soap works. You just lather it up good, and that works. <clears throat> Have a good one, Rocco. Appreciate you, man. Maybe I'll see you in Kells later if, we, uh, if I see the notification. Lately, I've been missing them all. I don't know why. But... Is 
What's everybody else up to? Anything good? Oof. My neck, my neck still hurts, Mary. Shit won't go away. I don't know why it hurts so damn much. It's got to be the way I'm sleeping or something because I, my neck's never bothered me like this. I quit for the day. Okay. I hear you. Yeah, everybody looks like they're taking off anyway, so I might as well end it now. I appreciate you guys. I'll, I'll catch you in the morning. Not a thing besides work. I hear you. All right, let's end this, guys. I appreciate it, though. I got 12 thumbs up. Thank you. If you didn't hit it, hit it on the way out for me. I do. It does help the channel. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> we'll do something good in the morning. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Probably the same thing we do every day, but I'm looking forward to it because I love seeing you guys in the morning. So catch you then. Have a good one. Have a good night. Be safe, whatever you're doing. And uh, I will catch you on the flip side. Later, guys. Later, Gators. <laughs>